what is going on you guys it is scorpion reds tarot i am back at it again to find out what is going on with the divine masculine for the month of february all right thank you guys so very much thank you so very much for your patience as you guys know the delay in the videos was because me and my family unfortunately we we all came down with the flu and thank you so much for all the well wishes and the prayers um, during that time. And also want to give a shout out to everyone that has booked personal and private readings and or have given love donations to the channel. As you can see, we have brand new decks here, all brand new decks except for this one. Y'all know that's Old Faithful. But um, I have seven new decks and a brand new camcorder where I can finally give my poor phone a rest and just use it as a cell phone and not a recording device. So all glory to God for that. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. I just want to shout y'all out. Um, if anyone would like to book a personal and private reading, you can do so by clicking the about tab on my YouTube page. All right. And if you would like to give a love donation um, or, you know, just want to offer some support to the page um there is a hyperlink for my paypal in the description alrighty if this video resonated with you gave you some type of insight love or clarity um you can always feel free to drop a dollar or two in that paypal um it's greatly appreciated and as you see it does go back into the page so i do appreciate all of the love and support you guys all right let's get into the reading for divine masculine all right let me tilt this down a little bit all right. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here today. Thank you so much. We are here to find out what the energy is surrounding around the Divine Masculine for the month of February 2019. Thank you again, Father God, for bringing us here. Thank you so much for all the lessons and the blessings that you've given us in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for the Divine Masculine and anyone Dealing with the Divine Masculine that might be watching this in the Cross Watchers energy. Please give the Divine Masculine guidance for the month of February. And again, thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give us guidance for uh, the Divine Masculine. Thank you again. Alright, so we're going to do the spread a little bit different this time because we got some new cards here. Alright, so we're going to get... The overall energy here. I'm going to give you a basic general love spread. And then we're going to do a deep dive. Impossible clarifications. I don't want to make the video too long. Alright. So I'm going to try to get the overall cards in regards to the energy of the Divine Masculine Spirit. Please give me guidance in regards to the overall energy of the Divine Masculine for the month of February. Yes, the month of February. Y'all forgive me because I keep saying. <laughs> I already done seen this. Well, I was trying to get three cards, but I'm going to get whatever the Lord gave me. Whatever. This is a lot, though. This a lot, though. This a lot, though. Okay. Anyway, we got the double energy in reverse. So that's good. He's letting go of some toxic behaviors. And he's feeling single and, you know, strong and solid on his own at this moment. Um, I feel like he isn't ready to face the truth at this current moment in regards to certain things. Maybe to the detriment to this toxic behavior that he's letting go. I don't think that he's really taking the time to really assess deeply and take responsibility for, um, you know, some of the things that he's caused in some of the relationships that didn't last well but right now he is definitely feeling strong and secure and solid on his own all right there is a delay in new beginnings new financial beginnings for the divine masculine and i do feel like right now as as you can see he is focused on his money and you know being prosperous and abundant on his own however um i feel like he is still in a point where he's still having to face his demons and you know might need to look at some self-truths here that he might not want to address and that might be causing the block in the new development in his life um He's still in this point where I feel like he is. I don't feel like the divine masculine is making any forward moves right now in any um, love commitment because I don't feel like he knows how to love. 
I don't think that he is able to give his heart to anyone at this point in time. And he's probably in, I definitely feel like he's still in his playboy energy. Um, he's finally started paying attention to certain things that are not emotionally fulfilling to him anymore. And I feel like, you know, he might have been wanting to come forward. And, you know, that's what I'm getting. I'm feeling like the Divine Masculine was wanting to come forward to offer um, his love to someone, even in the state where he's at, where he really truly don't know how to love, but it was still love there. And he was delaying moving forward and giving this offer of love. And I think throughout that delay and just him not really knowing how to fully commit and give his love I think he figured out you know let me pour this offer out because I don't feel like I'm equipped and I'm ready to really offer and give this person anything right now and I just see you know that he just he turned back on his horse and he decided not even to come forth and to to give that offer to this person because I feel like he he's missed his harvest with this I feel like he really waited too long and um you know study long study wrong okay I don't feel like he was paying attention enough and I don't think that he put the work in that was really required in order for him to be able to really um, be clear in his words and really be able to face the truth and come to someone with truth and be able to, you know, start a new beginning. Yes, this person is working on their toxic behaviors and trying to change that, but at the same time. There's certain aspects of who he is and these toxic things that he is not willing to let go. Even though, you know, the Grim Weeper is standing over him and it's like, you know, something, you don't have to let go of something. You eventually going to have to let this go. I feel like they're still holding tight to who who they are and these old behaviors and things like that. I feel like there's certain things that they know that they need to change, but they just don't want to change it and they don't know how to change it yet. But you're being forced to change. You're being forced to change regardless if you want to or not. It don't matter how hard you hold on to it. You see what I'm saying? And I honestly feel like whatever this is that he's holding on to, that's causing this inability to love and that's why he decided that he's going to pour this offer out because he knew he wouldn't be able to come forth with a solid offer for real you know he he know that he can't offer a solid offer it says it right here he can't offer truth or a solid offer that's why he just feels like he's just best to be on his own and work through this this toxic release that he's trying to release you know this old way of being that's been plaguing him for so long you know he's trying to work on releasing that and it's just like i feel like the best thing for me to do as a man this is divine masculine thing saying the best thing for me to do as a man is just be by myself while i'm working on this shit like that i'm not gonna drag nobody else into my bullshit i feel like you know he's still in his little playboy shit he got his little things that he play with um here and there but he not offering no love to nobody. I don't feel like the Divine Masculine is in a state right now where he knows how to love. Because I feel like he's looking at everything. He's really trying to find clarity. And he is he is slowly taking responsibility for the things that has caused the chaos in, 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 in his relationships. And that's why he's realizing like... I just rather be by myself and just, you know, enjoy the fruits of my labor of, you know, I feel like this person, whoever this divine, divine masculine is, he definitely works hard and he just works hard and he's enjoying the fruits of his labor right now. He's pouring out any offers, anybody offer anything to him and he's definitely not offering nothing to nobody. He's not willing to <coughs> focus and pay attention and work on anything with anybody right now. I don't feel like he, mm -mm. Spirit, please give me guidance and love for the Divine Master for February. Pay attention to red flags. Let go of control issues. See, something that they need to let go. If they're still trying to hold on and control. They're not optimistic about love. Like offering love right now. Yeah, no new love coming in their life. They still focus on a past life relationship. Alright. 
So spirit is trying to urge the divine masculine to pay attention to the red flags because it is it is it is certain things about them. Okay? And I want to say I don't know if this represents selfishness, but I do say that this represents selfishness. I feel like the divine masculine is very fucking selfish. And they only think about their self and what benefits them. And they don't really think about other people. Only thing they're worried about is enjoying the fruits of their labors and the labor of others. That's honestly how I feel, you know. And this is something that they need to work on. This is something that they really need to work on and they need to pay attention to the red flags of their own behavior and let go of this shit that they, you know, because I feel like for the Divine Masculine, they've been going through the same thing and the same thing over and over and over, over in the same relationship, different situ, I mean, different uh, relationship, same situation, different. I can't even goddamn say different relationship same situation different relationship same situation same shit different toilet same shit different toilet you know what I'm saying and I feel like all of his relationships begin the same and they end the same and that's why he's not optimistic about love right now because he is fighting through these changes. He is really trying to release these toxic energies. I do feel like he is starting to recognize and realize that the problem isn't nobody but him and his own greed and selfishness. Okay? Now this card does not really represent someone being greedy and selfish, but I this is a single person, okay? This is someone that is single and is worried about self so that's why I ain't. and next to this devil card even though that this person is trying to release this energy but I do feel for me it means that this person is trying to release being self-consumed and worried about their self this was toxic for them only worrying about how they can feed their own self like that was was what was really toxic and they really need to let that shit go because I still feel like there's still moments now where the divine masculine might have situations where they could tell a quick lie you know and even though they might not have a long term benefits but they damn sure have some 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 temporary quick benefits something that'll offer them something real quick where they feel like they could get off or fly away with something they still battle with they self on if they're going to play that game or not because like the <laughs> oh honey this man he's he's just a slickster like he's a slickster and he's a little mac daddy he's a, he's cute and he's He's cute and he got away with words. He got away with his energy and his smile. And he got away with his shit. You see what I'm saying? And like he got to catch himself to be like, nah, let me not do that. Let me let, let me do the right thing. Like they'll be in situations where they're meeting new girls. Like they're meeting new, new people. And I feel like they're rejecting them because it's just like they'll look at him like, man, I know I can have her wrapped around my fucking finger. Nah, I ain't even gonna fuck with her because I ain't even got no time to be dealing with the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Because anything that reminds them of that past life behavior, of that player bullshit that they're trying... I feel like the Divine Masculine is trying to really clean his karma in regards to love because... Like I just told you, no new love is coming to him. I honestly feel like his love life is pretty fucking stale right now and he's by himself. And he realizes that it's, it's certain shit that he gonna have to put the work into that he don't want to put. He don't want to put. He lazy. He don't want to work on himself. He got to let go of that selfishness. Now, this is representing selfishness. He don't, he don't really want to work on that. He's in a state right now where it's like, I'd rather just be, I, I'm not ready to work on that. I'd rather just be alone. Or whoever, whatever situation he working right now, he'd rather just work that situation and just like, he not, I don't see him picking up anything new. Please give me guidance in regards to additional information. Ooh. 
just flew out here. I ain't trying to change you. Um, hmm. So, you want a clarification to this situation? Saying to pay attention to let go of control issues, that there's no optimism about new love, and that this person is focusing on a past life relationship. He really wants and wishes that this person from this past life would uh, surrender to this connection. I do feel like that there is a soul connection between the divine, this divine masculine, um, and the person that he considers his divine feminine. He feels like that there's a soul connection and he really just wants to surrender to it and, you know, wants his divine feminine to surrender to it as well. But he knows that she's not going to return because he still has a third party. I told you he's still on somebody. Mm -hmm. He still has somebody that he's dealing with right now. So, I'm sorry, I'm taking a pause because they're saying it's a third party energy, but right now it's saying, up there it's saying it's uh, uh, single. But like I'm saying, I really never kind of took that. I'm not taking that as him being single no more. I definitely feel like he is in a relationship right now and he doesn't have anything to offer in regards to um, a new beginnings and he definitely doesn't have any truth he is like I said he is working on releasing this selfish energy of just worrying about how to feed his own needs and him focusing on what is benefiting him directly like that is the toxicity and like I said at the end here it's the Grim Reaper coming to him, trying to force him to change, trying to force him to release something that he's not willing to let go. And like I said, I, I feel like this person, this person most definitely has third party energy. Please give me additional information. This person just, um, I don't feel like they really deal with people. They, they deal with people off of the strength of love all of the time. The dark night of the soul. There's no communication. I don't feel like this person really deals with people off of what off of love there's there's not a lot of love here and the only love that you see here is is that you show that i mean love any emotion you show is showing you that he's pouring this shit out and he's aware that he don't want to make that offer no more and that you know he doesn't know how to commit himself in love like that's you know, like i said this person Really would love to surrender himself to this connection, okay? He really would love to surrender himself. And he don't want to return. He wants you to return. But he know that you'll never come back to him, okay? Because, the, because of the third party energy that was around during the time of that relationship. And the third party energy that's going on now. This person is dealing with the um, dark night of the soul. This person really needs to go deep within and really deal with the darkness that's within inside. And that's what this person is dealing with. That's what this person is trying to deal with. It's trying to fight off this selfish need to be self-fulfilling and... You know, only wondering, I'm sorry, only worrying about what benefits them in a physical means. And not worrying about the emotional needs for other people. I feel like this person, he is not beneath of sleeping with someone that he's really not attracted to if he needed a place to stay. And he would sit there and he would give you the whole fucking business and make you think that he's in love with him all the while. He got a whole fucking relationship with a person that he really loved on the other side. As long as what, as long as what is going on is financially benefiting him. 
Okay? He got a place to stay with you and he can have his cake and eat it too over here. That's what the fuck he's been doing. You understand what I'm saying? And that's the thing that he's been trying to pay attention to. And that's something whoever the cross watcher is, you need to pay attention to. This person is never, it's not in a port, at a place where he's able to offer clarity and truth. Nor is he able to offer a new, um, a, a new stable beginning to you. Nor is any new stable beginnings coming to him as well. Okay? This person has to deal with this dark energy that's going on in deep inside of them. Okay? Because it doesn't matter if it's you or the next person or the next person after that. There's always going to be that third party connection there. Because this person feels like they need to have multiple people around them for them to feed some type of hunger. For them to feel successful in their own right. For some reason. Okay? Okay? That's what this person needs, okay? And right now, there is no communication in this relationship with you guys. And it bothers this person. It bothers this person. Please give me some of the... Um, okay? This person... You're not communicating with this person. And this person doesn't want you... Uh, doesn't want you to go through this metamorphosis stage. This person sees you like changing from a caterpillar into a butterfly and that you're really on this leaf about to spread your wings and fly away and leave them for forever because the changes that you're going through, Divine Feminine, you are not the same person that you were when you were in this relationship with them. And I don't think that you look at them the same nor look at anybody. I don't even think that you're attracted to the same type of person that he is anymore and i feel like this person he's still dealing with this dark energy and learning how to release it and he's not communicating with you and you're not communicating with him and he's okay with that because he got to work on certain shit that he ain't ready to work on yet and that's why he just he feel better left on his own right now because like I said, he already got a situation that he's already dealing with right now. And I don't see that he's picking up any other situations right now. I don't see that he's picking up any other situations right now. I don't see that. Alright. So, pay attention. Let go of control issues. He's not. He's not willing to let that go. He not optimistic about any new love. There isn't any new love coming to him. And he's focused on his past life relationship. Wants to surrender. Knows you won't return. Because there's third party. He's still got some dark energy that he has to work on. There's been blocked communication. And he doesn't want you to. He don't want you to change. He don't want you to leave. He don't want you to change. Hmm. Wait, give me, give me some additional information about this past life relationship, please. Spirit, please give me additional information about this past life relationship. clarify this past life relationship yeah it's the love that uh the love of his life that he lost that soulmate relationship that um he lost it's you it's you <laughs> it's you it's you thank you for the clarification this past life relationship is the person that he looked at as the love of his life. The person that should have been his wife that he let get away. That's who he's been focusing on. That's that cup that he poured out that cup for. Because he knew that he's not ready to come back to you. Because he's not coming back to you correct. He still got to deal with this dark energy. He still got to deal with that dark energy. He's not ready to deal with that. 
he's not ready to face the truth. He's not ready to come to you and really deal with the shit that he needs to deal with and face the truth. And he's still holding on to old toxic behaviors that he's working on letting go. But it's just like he's just been holding on to this way of being for so long. I don't think that he I don't know. unavailable he's unavailable and distant when well, he feels like you're unavailable and distant and elusive he give me more information shocking warning oh what's the warning Please give me some information in regards to what this warning is. Secretive. What warning? Can you please clarify this warning for the Divine Masculine for February? Thank you so much. Hmm. Alright. So... This is what I got. So in regards to what he's dealing with in the shadows, okay? I feel like in the relationship that he's in right now, I don't I feel like he's unavailable and distant even in the relationship and the connection that he's in right now. I feel like that because you're unavailable and distant with him. And I feel like even when you were in the relationship with him, he was unavailable and distant. I just feel like this is something that he just does. I feel like this person, he gets in these relationships with people and it's real thrilling and exciting in the beginning. But once that kind of new car smell fades off, this is what he does. He becomes unavailable and distant. And that's how the third parties always end into the situation because this person always needs that new car smell popping off. You understand? And once shit gets stale, it gets boring to them. Okay? So I feel like right now, this is where the Divine Masculine is. He's in that distant, you know, uh, unavailable stage. Um, I don't feel like he's available. Like I said, he's pouring out offers. He's not taking in any new offers of love. I don't feel like no one is even remotely offering themselves to him anymore. I do feel like... Even though that they are in a relationship, I feel like they're being distant and elusive in their relationship. I don't feel like this person comes home. Um, I basically feel like the same thing that they did to the Divine Feminine before they broke up. He's doing that to the current person that he's with now. He's being the magician. He's playing disappearing act. She don't know where the fuck he is neither. You understand? So the same shit that... He puts you through with her. She's going through this shit right now with another woman, okay? And this is not anything that is shocking. This is not a shocking, okay? However, this is a warning, okay? This is a warning. That this secretive behavior that this is masked, this secretive behavior that the Divine Masculine has been uh, recycling and been carrying in for so long, it's what has him so misguided and he really needs to find the light and find guidance because you know i just i i, I need more information about this warning please i need more information about this warning what is the warning please clarify this warning please Please clarify this warning, please. What is this warning for the Divine Masculine? Well, that's a lot. It's a warning. It's telling you that you might need to take yourself out of the game and like really rest and really get some mental clarity and some insight. And you need to retreat from the current situation that you're in. Um, I feel like that you are being mentally burdened 
and blocked and um, not really trying to see certain things and certain behaviors for what you need to see it as. Um, but you have someone that is helping you kind of get yourself unraveled here and um and you need to you know get to a point where you're willing to accept the help because it looks like even during this time when you are resting and you are retreating from this you know i feel like you're definitely this is the four swords coming right after the three of swords so this is right after someone dealing with heartbreak due to third party energy so i feel like Honestly, and I've said it before for the Divine Masculine, he stabbed his own self in the heart when he destroyed the foundation that was with the Divine Feminine. And I don't feel like he's been right ever since. Yes, he's been in a new cre uh, relationship, but I feel like it's been almost killing him to fake this happiness. And I, and right now, they're just like, I just can't even, like, I, I need to... I need to rest and I heal. And I, and, I, and I feel like there's someone praying over him. It might be his mother. I feel like the bi masculine mother is worried about him because she's just like something ain't right with my son. You know? And I, I, I see his mother praying over him. And not only that, I feel like he has people trying to help him with this mental blockage because I don't feel like the divine masculine has been able to get himself emotionally together. I feel like the divine masculine has been emotionally unraveling. His heart and his mind is going in two totally different directions and his chariot has done crashed into like, listen, I feel like the divine masculine has been crashing and been burning and that's why everyone has been like put in all of this effort in trying to get him together and to get him to really work on himself and get himself built back up to this masterpiece here. They really want him to get his shit together and be solid, you know, and fix his reputation. This man right here, he's a craftsman. He puts his passion and his integrity into his work. His work represents him. He's not just going to put no bullshit out there you know because it represents his name so his friends and family want him to really straighten up his act or really work on himself and try to fix his reputation because i feel like his reputation is shit out here in the street okay and look he's too focused on the fact that divine feminine left him out in the cold you know i feel like and you see this lady, she's walking by with a whole bag of food. And I feel like instead of them humbling themselves and saying, excuse me, miss, I need help. I feel like their pride, you know, and maybe perhaps ignorance and um, being in the mindset of lack. Because if you always telling yourself, ain't nobody going to help me, ain't nobody going to love me, ain't nobody going to do this, ain't nobody, ain't nobody going to do it. Because you're telling yourself and you're telling the universe ain't nobody going to do it. And I feel like the divine masculine is in this place of lack. Like they are just like. And it's been affecting their health most importantly. That's really what I think it is. That's what I think it is. And I feel like you got a whole team of people that is really ready to rile together. And put some physical work in to help you kind of. Pull your shit together because I feel like the Divine Masculine hasn't been eating right. They haven't been drinking enough water. They haven't been taking care of their health. And stress and anxiety can most definitely start to affect your health. Especially when you're adding in, you know, possibly, you know, someone drinking and smoking and things like that. I didn't see that here, but I definitely see a lot of people rallying around the Divine Masculine to try to get him help. To Because I feel like the Divine Masculine has honestly been going through a bout of depression. Yeah, he's, he's been going through a bout of depression. And, and people just want him to get help, honestly. Honestly and truly. Honestly and truly. So let's, you know, get some clarifications here. All right. And then we're going to get on up out of here. Okay. So sir, please clarify and give some additional messages for the Divine Masculine for the month of February. Please clarify that. Um, 
Please clarify the first spread for me, please. Thank you so much. Please give me some additional guidance. I'm trying to sneak away. Being sneaky. Juggling. Spirit, please clarify. First spread for me, please. Please give me clarity on the first spread. Alright. Alright, so to clarify the first spread, yes, indeed, what the divine masculine is working on is this sneaky deceptive behavior. I don't think that he truly knows how to change this. If it's something that he feel like he could get away with it, he's gonna do it. And like I said before, I feel like he has to stop himself because he is trying to change that behavior. And it's like, it's situations that fall on his lap that is just too easy and too good. And he's just like, man, I know I can get away with this shit. But, you know, I really have to stop this jug. I got to stop doing this shit. You know? It's like, I got to stop skipping away, feeling like I'm just going to walk salt into the sunset, always continuing to have this balance and, you know, with the shit that I'm doing. Like, it's just, it's not, people see what I'm doing. You see what I'm saying? People see what I'm doing. And like I said, everyone has been praying and has been trying to help the Divine Masculine because I feel like his reputation out in the street is known as a third party cheater womanizer and I feel like that this is something that everyone is finally getting a chance to look at because he might be in situations where he might constantly be in situations where he's in a healthy he's in a relationship but then he always gets kicked out and gotta go back home and then he'll get in a relationship with someone get kicked out gotta go back home and then you know, and, and now his mom and everybody in the family starting to look at him like, what the fuck is going on with you? Like, why your life just like, what's going on? I don't really think that the divine masculine parents and his family and his friends really seen him to be this person. They didn't see that. They didn't see that. And now they're recognizing that maybe he isn't as strong as we thought he was you know like this is the magician the magician is someone that can manifest anything that can pull off anything and I don't feel like right now for the divine masculine that he's able to be as powerful as he has been being able to pull off these tricks and manipulate people like that because right now he is dealing with his karma as above so below what you put out you what you put out in the universe you get right back and that is what the universe is teaching him right now it's time to sit your ass down okay you can't turn your back to your karma forever you will reap what you sow okay and as you can see in this this candle in his hand is lit on both ends as above so below and that is something that a young magician has to learn because a young magician, sometimes they get this power and they just feel like, oh, well, I can just balance. I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? What's going on? I'm going to do what I want to do or whatever. I'm going to be sneaky. I'm going to be conniving. I'm going to, you know, because I know I got I got the power to manipulate people and, and, and do whatever the fuck I want to do. But at the end of the day, when the main person that you really give a fuck about turn their back on you. You can't even see the top of her head. You can't see nothing. Only thing you see is the Empress chair. And the Empress is young herself. She's just learning how to be an Empress and create. And you know, she don't have time to deal with your stuff. She is beautiful, blossoming, and abundant. She literally is birthed rebirth and death and just everything like she is the creator like she is the creator she can't create dealing with someone's juvenile foolishness if you're not ready that's perfectly fine she will turn her back to you and she will continue creating and creating more 
She's not going to allow you to make her feel uncomfortable. You see that eagle up there? She will continue to soar and still I rise without you. She is still going to be fruitful. She is still going to blossom even with her back turned. Okay? So there you go with that. I'm going to do one more spread and then we're about. Spirit, please give me some additional guidance for the Divine Masculine for the month of February. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Please clarify this love spread for Divine Masculine for the month of February. Thank you so much, Father. Please clarify this love spread for the Divine Masculine. Do you have any additional message? Ooh. Okay. All right. So this is the moon. I feel this is the dark side of the moon. And that is the high priestess right there. So um, this is the high priestess birthing herself in the pool under the sunlight of the moon. And as you know, the, the high priestess holds her own secrets. And, you know, she has her own shit with her as well. And the only thing I'm, I'm trying to tell you right here is um, you can let all of the secrets and all of this shit that you've been trying to get away and, and all of this mess from your past, you can either let it teach you or defeat you. You can either use the light and let it teach you or you can, whatever the hell is in that green bow, you can let it defeat you. I don't know what the hell that shit is in that green bow, but I'm just going, I just, I just see it ain't no damn light, so whatever. Okay? You're going to either let it teach you or defeat you. Learn what you needed to learn from these lessons and, this, and, and all of the mysteries and the secrets of the moon and all of the mischief and stuff that you've pulled off that people don't even know about. I feel like there's so much stuff that the Divine Masculine has done that a lot of people don't even know about for real, for real. And I feel like the Divine Masculine at this point is fearing all of the real dirt and the real person that he is coming out to light. You know, but I feel like if you just face your fears, face your fears, all right, and learn how to move on, learn how to move on because at the end of the day, this person right here is letting their fears determine their future because you got to remember what you constantly dwell on and think on in your head, it manifests into the light, okay? So this person is allowing their fear to turn into reality, okay? But what you need to do is take a cool dip in the pools of your own secrets and your own intuition. Use your own, go deep within and, 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 and deal and face with every dark secret that it is that you have. Face it. That Ain't that what you've been trying to do? You've been trying to work through the shit. Face it. Deal with it. Pay attention to the red flags when you see certain shit and, 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 and you be thinking of doing fucked up shit. Pay attention. Like, that's a red flag. Hold on. Let me surrender myself to this and realize, you know what? This is what the fuck they talking about. This is the shit that they talk about I be doing. Let me fix that. Let me fix that. Deal with the shit. Address it and move forward. Because one thing in the moon try to teach us is that what happened in the past is the past. You can't go back there no more. There's nowhere else for you to go forward. But you can't move forward if you let in your fears. Your fears determine your future. All right? And this is the Six of Cups. All right? This is the Six of Cups. This is someone needing to let go of their fucking past. Okay? You see this person looking out on their veranda at the goddamn cups and shit like that. Wondering, thinking about, you know, when they planted those cups and, you know, when they went out to the market and they bought the fertilizer and all of this shit. And the, like, get, you need to get the fuck over the past. OK, stop going out on your balcony. Stop sitting out on your stop sitting out on your balcony, smoking weed, drinking Hennessy, thinking about your old relationship with this person. OK, it's past it's gone. You need to move forward. Deal with the shit that you were dealing with in the shadows. When you were being sneaky and you were being conniving, you need to deal with that shit in the shadows. Listen, that dark night of the soul, you need to deal with that darkness that is dwelling in your soul. 
so you can truly find happiness. And if you want to get your divine feminine back, you need you can get her back. But you want to have to surrender yourself. It ain't she need to surrender. You need to surrender, okay? And she don't need to return because she's not going to return. You have to change this shit. This is your problem. All right? So listen, I'm going, you guys. I hope that this video resonated. And um, if you would like to get a personal or private reading, go ahead and click that About tab. If um, it did give you some insight, and if you would like to give a page donation, you can go ahead and do so at the description. Um, you'll see the PayPal information. I love you guys. Love you, love you, love you. So sorry for the delay. I am going to be back on track. Now, I'm letting you guys know there probably will not be a mid-month video. Actually, what I'm probably going to do for my loves is, um, you know I always do the Divine Feminine Daily Bread. I'm going to do, instead of just doing the Divine Feminine Daily Bread, being as though that I'm not going to do a mid-month um, video for all my signs because it's already mid-month. When I'm doing a Daily Bread, I'm going to do a Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine Daily Bread every day until the end of the month. Deal? Except for on the weekends, Monday through Friday. I'm going to do that. Deal? Huh? Y'all like that? Y'all like that? All right. All right. So I think I'm going to do that. Y'all let me know if that works for y'all. Um, Y'all let me know if that works for y'all because I don't want to get behind again and I don't want to feel like I'm cramming too much because I don't want my energy to get burnt out because I need to be here, not there on the bed. So I love you guys and my divine masculines, I love y'all. All my um male watchers, can y'all just put a thumbs, a thumbs up in the... Uh, comment section. I just want to love on all my male watches and stuff like that because a lot of men watch my videos more than you think and I love that that the men watch my videos because sometimes because even me myself I just be like man why the fuck do I be doing this shit? Like what the fuck is I doing? What was I thinking? And just sometimes just to hear somebody else just have some outlook surrounding around the energy around my situation and possibly what I contributed to it and what I'm scared to face and what I need to face and you know having to let go of control issues and you know it, it, it just it's just different hearing it from somebody else that don't know you and can pull energy, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So I just want to say shout out to all my male um, watchers. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for the support. And I really hope that y'all love this video. And everybody that rock with me, just know I rock with you. Peace, love, and light.